everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess, and this is Comcast Newsmakers coming to you from the Detroit Regional Chamber Mackinac Policy Conference, taping at the Grand Hotel. Our topic today is summer programs for kids. Joining us now to talk about it is Detroit City Councilwoman Santiel Jenkins. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I know one of the, the main focuses that uh, you're working on right now is trying to, to keep kids uh, off the streets, out of trouble, doing uh, fun, productive activities all summer long. And uh, certainly with budget cuts and funding cuts, uh, less opportunities perhaps are out there now uh, than in the past. And, and you're getting a little creative as to, uh, as to what kids can do and, and what's out there for them. Absolutely. Um, one of the exciting things we're doing, first of all, last year I started a foundation, the Jovan Foundation, which was named in honor of my brother who was killed uh, due to gun violence. He was 14. So the Jovan Foundation's main purpose is to reduce youth violence by providing alternatives, positive alternatives for kids. So one of the things we did this year was partner with the Detroit Institute of Arts and we have the Jovan Summer Discovery Art Program, which is a program for 50 fourth and fifth graders, as well as 10 high school students. The high school students are trained as junior docents, and the fourth and fifth graders spend a day in the museum. It's a five-week program. The first portion of the day, they're in the galleries learning to interpret art through the eyes of a fourth and, or fifth grader. And in the afternoons, they're in the art studios actually working on an art project. At the end of the five weeks, their families come out, they get a tour of the DIA, they get to see the art project, and they also get a one-year free membership to, to the DIA. So it does multiple things. One, it provides summer employment for high school students. Um, and the high school students are coming from Cody High, which is the school my brother was a freshman attending Cody when he was killed. So we're getting kids from Cody High, we're getting them off the streets, teaching them new skills. We're teaching fourth and fifth graders not only about art and the DIA, but they're learning about the different careers that are available in the Art Institute. Most people just think about painters and art. There's science, scientists, all kinds of scientists working in the DIA, which they're learning about in this program as well. And it's introducing families who may not otherwise go to the DIA to this jewel in the city of Detroit. And this is a new program. I know it's just starting out, and mm -hmm. so this is your sort of first uh, class or it first is. group, if you will. Yes. Do you already have all, all the kids signed up? Are you looking for more folks to get involved? Well, we're, we're partnering with uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters, and they've identified the children. Big Brothers Big Sisters has done a great job of identifying the students and uh, getting them together for the program. So we brought in, you know, the experts to uh, help us locate kids. Another wonderful organization uh, helping to mentor and, and mm -hmm. work with kids. How important is it that uh, kids uh, perhaps who uh, you know now have all day, every day, all summer long, they're not going to school, maybe mom, uh, dad are, are off working all day long and mm -hmm. uh, they're left to their own devices and they're yes. old enough to be, um, but how important is it that they have constructive other alternatives, whether it's this program or an athletic program or, or just something else to do and keep mm -hmm. them busy all summer? It, it is so important that kids have productive, positive activities that, you know, stimulate their growth and their learning all year long through the summer as well as the school year. But it's even more important in the summer because, as you said, they're, you know, just left to their own devices all day if parents don't have the resources to do other things. That's why programs like this are so important because children who may not otherwise have an opportunity to be a part of the DIA now get that opportunity. So we need this program and we need a hundred more like it. And there are affordable programs. There are a lot of free programs at Big Brothers Big Sisters. Yes. You know, talk your kids into it if you can. Uh, drag them over there on yes. the first day, and maybe you can get them hooked. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Today's Comcast newsmaker was Santiel Jenkins, a Detroit City Councilwoman.